Charles Davis, uh, before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play, but here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives a defensive break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. complete and he's able to get up here to the 26 they'll give him a yard on the play and it'll be a second down everyone's got to be able to catch the football doesn't matter what position you play but if you're on offense be aware a ball may come your way second down McNabb on the slam and gets it to Gronkowski and he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. Now it's McNabb. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That one goes for 36 yards. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 25-yard line. They go play action. It's McNabb. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. The beauty of being able to play his own defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands. Guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Flex round! Flex round! A play fake. Now McNabb. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. But well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. To throw, McNabb. Man open, Rice. And he gets it all the way down inside the ten and mark him at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. The Eagles into the red zone for the first time. They've got it first and goal at the six. Here's McNabb. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be forced out of bounds, shy of the line of scrimmage, so that'll be credited as a sack. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Ricky Williams taking it in from seven yards away. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point put through by Boswell, and it's now a 7-0 game. Boswell on now to kick this one away. It's a very short kick taken by an up man. 
And they finally get to him, but not before he's past the 45 to the 46-yard line. Well, you gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come Black up round. first and Black 10. Round. Black round. Black round. McNabb to throw. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team toward. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Ricky Williams taking it in from a yard out. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. Myers connects on the PAT, and we are tied at seven. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and that'll bring up second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. McNabb. Forced out to his left. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Jason Taylor in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Flex round! Flex round! Let's go! Brad Diane! Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Here we go! White 90! White 90! They're going to try and throw. And they're going to sack him yet again. The pass rush has been relentless. This time, it yields a safety. So they go with the empty set, and that's the risk you run right there. Nobody was there to protect. Well, you know how most offenses have audibles, and they've changed plays when they see certain sets? A lot of defenses do the exact same thing. You go to an empty back set, they bring pressure. And boy, did it pay off in this case. 